Well, just a quick one, guys. So far, so good. Got the pins out. No worries, what's that, whatsoever. Got the line off. Oh, I might have it stuck in there now. No worries on that. I'm replacing this anyway. I just want to make sure I don't get any uh, brake fluid leaking all over the place. Hopefully that comes apart okay. The other good news, well, these are all my parts that I got from work. So these are the pins, and um, it's interesting how these pins work, really. I think it's kind of cool. And they're, they're actually kind of shiny too, as you guys see. I didn't touch these. Uh, I did kind of clean this thing up, because I'm going to be painting these. Just want to dry it out. This came out no problem whatsoever. And uh, that actually turned out. I actually took it out, cleaned all the threads, cleaned up all the way around this so I know the bleeder. And then when I pressed this in, I actually just did it with my vise. Um, when I actually pressed this in, it actually went right in no problem. And uh, brake fluid squirted out of there. So this caliper is ace. Incredible for a 1993. I don't know. This thing had quite a bit of rust on it. You can kind of still see there where it's layered. And I did my best to get all that layering stuff off. Um, but, you know, it's material, so it's going to be part of it. And when I paint these things, I'm just going to paint them black. I'm not going nuts. Um, it'd be nice if I could polish these right down to steel. But um, I got to break clean these, get all this stuff off of here, and then uh, mask off all the important spots. And I'll be painting this later on down the road when I get the other one. So, so far, so good. So, don't worry about the pads. The pads, I have enough pads on the front. Um, that'll pass for safety. Um, maybe the next, maybe two years of driving or three years of driving, I might have to change them. Ball joints, brake lines, uh, flex lines in the front, uh, rear diff cover, rear, rear uh, diff cover seal, rear seals. You guys can guess what all that stuff is. These are actually my wheel shoulders. It says right there, Dorman. So yeah, and then uh, those that box right there actually has my speed nuts for actually mounting the, uh, the bed the way it's supposed to. So this is actually the this is the stuff you get from Ford. So that box, um, other <laughs> those guys have that thing installed completely wrong. But I guess to them it didn't matter because they weren't going to safety it because you know state was staying in a family with them. Anyway, yeah, uh, all I did to get the knock the pins out was I got this little guy here on my vice. And uh, well, my vice, my vice grips, and I uh, got my trusty hit hammer here. Had my little impact here. Um, it was 9 16 or yeah, 9 16 actually broke that right off clean, like easy. Like I barely touch it, and that's what I love about using my tools. I know my tools well enough to know when I'm hitting it hard or too hard or too soft. I'm, I'm used to these guys now, so I pretty much know it might not be pre absolutely precise, but I know if I'm going to be like, I'm not just going to put it on there and just eh, like get it at it, right. Hit it a couple times to see if it's going to turn, and it turned almost instantly, so I knew it was good. Um, the bleeder was 11 mil. It's like I said, even right now, if I put this thing on here, um, and let me just uh, get it on and just jerk it. I think set you guys up. Know if you can see that or not, I'm trying to get down or so. Where is it? Right there, and, uh, oops, oops, off camera, but uh, yeah, there she is, and I can just, oh man, I put this thing on too tight, no, there we go, sorry, so, anyway, yeah, so 11 mil, and I did crank it down so that, as you guys can see it turns and if I bring it all the way out you guys can see how clean those threads are that's a brake fluid leaking out but um, yeah so bleeder screws good um, brake line screws good caliper still good boots are good this thing is uh, good <laughs> so yeah like I said I'm gonna brake clean the thing get some oils off of it there and uh, I'm gonna have to grease all this stuff up or break grease, obviously. I like to grease these up too so that nothing sticks to it, no no noisy stuff when you're applying the brakes. And anyway, so yeah, just a quick one. I think there's enough videos out there showing you guys the progress of taking all this stuff apart. I mean, to be honest with you, I watched a few videos so I kind of know what to expect on this. But if you Google it on YouTube, you'll find it. So I'm gonna take my four wheel drive apart, which I do have all the tools for that, thankfully. 
Um, and uh, when I take these apart, just a little note, when I, I, I'll get a, like a coffee cup, like a Tim Hortons or whatever coffee cup. And as I take it out, I put it in the cup. So when you're done, whatever on top goes in first. So it, it's like a cake. Um, so I have been spraying these with WD-40 specialist um, blue flame stuff. I've been spraying these things for well a while and that's why it looks so wet i did just spray these again but i'm spraying everything uh as often as i can because i want it to soak in i want like i really want this stuff to soak it on this side too which is going to be the right side um if if the guys have to uh do a wheel alignment on here which i'm pretty sure it, it does i've actually been spraying these as well on both sides and there's a a cam ring right here so when I, I get this out, again, in videos, you guys will see it. So when I get this nut off um, and go to press this out, I also have to take this out, which in this case here, it looks like it's welded to the truck. So that might be a little harder for me to get off. Um, it'll be interesting to see. But that's got to come out because when I want to get the wheel alignment done on this, it's going to be a little hard. But yeah, so on this side here, this one here looks almost exactly the same. This one almost looks a little bit better, to be honest with you. But all I did was uh, I punched here. And then that, that one starts to slide. And as it does, it actually starts to slide this. But I punch here, bit punch there. to take it out as evenly as I can. I did the same thing on the bottom. One thing i got to say that was really funny is as tight as this is, there was earwigs inside my caliper um, where the cup is. It was full of earwigs. So I have no idea how those boys got in there, but they did. They didn't like it when I brake cleaned them. But anyway, I digress. She's coming along, boys. I did order the uh, the links. I could have just ordered the bushings because apparently you can just replace the bushings with those. But I thought, you know what? For the price of them, I think they were $17. I just replaced the whole uh, rear links. And that was in my last video. So, yeah, um, that's her, guys. That's today's video. Like I said, just a quick one. So uh, I will see you guys in my next one. Of course, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and uh, hit that link below for Lumens. And uh, check their website out, guys. Go in there and see if they've got what you need for all your lighting needs. Seagull 2023 will get you 15% off. Base. See you guys in the next one.